While paleontologists have been digging up dinosaur bones by the truckload, they found only a handful of animals covered in fossilized skin. That's it, that's it, now. Got it. But Phil's used to wrestling with big problems. Oh, no, no, we gotta swing it out and around Pull it up. This time, Pull it's no different. All right. He wants to flesh out the bones of one of the world's largest dinosaurs. That's it, perfect, guys. <laughs> Everything's there, oh, nothing. Phil aims to cover a model with scientifically accurate dinosaur skin. He'll need all his forensic technology because 80 million years of geological history is bad for the complexion as this chicken's about to discover. Here we go. Phil's at the Intertech Jet Fire Facility right. in San Antonio, Texas. With a chicken and a four meter long flamethrower, he'll demonstrate why it's so hard to find fossilized skin. Come close to it, Phil. Go ahead and put it in front of the nozzle. Intertech uses the flamethrower to simulate the heat generated by explosions on offshore oil okay. platforms. We'll start hearing it soon. A little bit more, Scott. Phil's using it to demonstrate the intense heat found deep underground, where fossilized animals spend millions of years in the pressure cooker. And here we go. Wow. This barbecue generates temperatures in excess of 1,000 degrees Celsius. <laughs> just went, much it's like that. no more. No more. <laughs> just, mm. Okay. It smells quite good. It smells really good. <laughs> I'm really hungry now. I wonder if it tastes like chicken. Oh. <laughs> that looks great. <laughs> okay. So this is just going to finish our animal off. Oh, that is just horrible. The indignity continues when it's out of the fire and into the crusher. There we go. Go on, let it have it. All right. Now Phil's demonstrating the immense pressure on a fossil when it's buried under tons of rock. And ready, set, go. Oh, <laughs> oh God. <laughs> That is disgusting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we sure squashed the crap out of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, man. 